All right, guys, Dividend Star King here, back with another video. Today, we're talking about my plan for TSLP, the Curve View Premium Strategy for Tesla. And what's my plan? Um, first of all, I'm not getting financial advice, so you got your own risk. Currently, have just 10 shares to over $200 market value. My average cost is 20.61, but now it's 20.28. And they seek to provide current income and cap gains. So it's like a synth synthetic cup of call, but they also can own the shares as well. Um, so they have their calls here, right? So you see their calls. And um, the last dividend they paid was 43 cents, which is pretty good for ETF that. It's 20 bucks, right? Um, the reason I like the curve stuff, um, because they're they're um, is is if you don't want the high year with the with the I guess the dips or the price going down, um, I think curve is a great uh alternative because they hold the yield pretty well. Now, grant is down, it came out at 25 dollars, right? And it's down 20, but. Tesla has been down all year. This thing's gone up to twenty eight dollars. So these are these funds here. So TSLP is, is one that if Tesla goes up, it goes up. If Tesla goes down, it feels like you have a little more um, less downward motion because this thing all time high was at twenty eight dollars, right? And then it dropped to twenty one, and get dropped here to sixteen dollars. It's back to twenty dollars. So this thing is really um, stable as far as the price, because if Tesla goes up, is up big time. Um, but I'm a big fan of it. Uh, I like it. Um, they pay the third week, which is nice. So if you do own your Max and you want a third week pair, this is a perfect complement to that. And the, the and the yield's pretty good. I mean, the, I mean, the other ones are 25, 20, 25 percent, seventy percent yield, which is still not bad yield. Um, but it's just that super high, like 50, 50 or forty percent yield. But look, if you worry about this Nasdaq or just stuff, you worry about price coming down. Curve is a great alternative because they hold the um, underlying really well. Uh, so my plan with TSLP, I want to get a hundred shares, right? Um, the unfortunate thing about this, like I like the like uh, I like throwing ten, twenty dollars to a stock, like ten bucks to it, and the next time I throw another ten dollars, I give me a full share. Uh, unfortunately, you can't do that, and uh, on on this stock here, uh, so I pay me five dollars or a ten dollar dividend. I like to put the ten dollars back into it. That way. That's half a share, and I add ten dollars as a full share. But you're not allowed to do that with this stock. You must buy the full share, and your dividends must surpass at least twenty one dollars for it to reinvest to get you another share. Which is I'm not a fan of that because if I make four dollars a five dollar dividend, I want the choice either to not reinvest it back into it or not. For, for you to not allow them to do that. And some stocks are like that. TSRP is one of those. Spy T is one of those where if you buy, say, 10 shares and get, say, $2, $3, you cannot reinvest that $3 back into it. But I'm not a fan of that because I want the option to invest it or not. Um, so I don't like that at all. But um, I'm going to continue to buy this more, try and get to 100 shares. I might mess with the other ones they have. I mean, 25% yield, 17% yield is still great yield compared to a, you know, some stocks pay 8, 9%. You know, you know, it's, it's, you know and they're doing a couple calls on this stuff. So I'm a big fan of uh, Curve. So that's my game plan, get 100 shares. I got 10 shares. I'm holding, I'm holding what I got. What I got that I'm holding right now. And um, that's it. Um, my name is Ty for the Divinstein King. Thanks for watching.